Namaste, Dhanava Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Bar Mahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, the status quo, chapter 23, text 9. Evam Pravanam Abhala Kila Yoga Maya Vidya Vikshakshanam Aviksha Gatadhir Asit Samprasraya Pranaya Vivalagya Girisad Vridhavaloka Vilasad Dasitan Anaha Upon hearing the speaking of her husband, who excelled in knowledge of all kinds of transcendental science, innocent Devahuti was very satisfied. Her smiling face shining with a slightly bashful glance, she spoke in a choked voice because of great humility and love. It is said that if one is already engaged in Krishna consciousness, and is rendering transcendental loving service to the Lord, then it can be supposed that he has finished all the recommended courses of austerity, penance, religion, and sacrifice, mystic yoga, and meditation. Devahuti's husband was so perfect, uh, was so expert in the transcendental science that there was nothing for him to argue about. And when she heard him speak, she was confident that, uh, that since he was very much advanced in devotional service, he had already surpassed all transcendental educational activities. She had no doubt about the gifts offered by her husband. She knew that he was expert in offering such gifts. And when she understood that he was offering the greatest gift, she was very satisfied. She was overwhelmed with ecstatic love, and therefore she could not reply. Then with faltering language, just like an attractive wife, she spoke the following words. Text 10. Devahutir uvacha Radham vatad vija vrsha itad amhog yoga Sri Devahuti said, My dear husband, O best of the Brahmanas, I know that you have achieved perfection and are the master of all the infallible mystic powers, because you are under the protection of yoga maya, the transcendental nature. But you once made a promise that our bodily union should now fulfill, since children are a great quality for a chaste woman who has a glorious husband. Purpur, Devahuti expressed her happiness by uttering the word bhatta, for she knew that her husband was in a highly elevated transcendental position and was under the shelter of yoga maya. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, those who are great souls, mahatmas, are not under the control of the material energy. The Supreme Lord has two energies, material and spiritual. The living entities are marginal energy. As marginal energy, a person may be under the control of the material energy or the spiritual energy, yoga maya. Kardama Muni was a great soul and therefore he was under the spiritual energy, which means that he was directly connected with the Supreme Lord. The symptom of this is Krishna consciousness, constant engagement in devotional service. This was known to Devahuti, Yet she was anxious to have a son by bodily union with the sage. She reminded her husband of his promise to her parents. I will remain only until the time of Devahuti's pregnancy. She reminded him that for a chaste woman to have a child by a great personality is most glorious. She wanted to be pregnant and she prayed for that. The word stri means expansion. 
by bodily union of the husband and wife, their qualities are expanded. Children born of good parents are expansions of the parents' personal qualifications. Both Kardamamuni and Devahuti were spiritually enlightened. Therefore, she desired from the beginning that first she be pregnant and then she be empowered with the achievement of God's grace and love of God. For a woman that is a great ambition to have a son of the same quality as a highly qualified husband. Since she had the opportunity to have Kardama Muni as her husband, she also desired to have a child by bodily union. Text 11. Satreti Krityam Upasiksha Yato Padesham In Aisham He Karshito Tirir Amasayatma Siddhyeta te krita mano bhava darishitya dinastar isha bhava nam sadrisham vichaksva. Devahuti continued, My dear Lord, I am struck by excited emotion for you. Therefore, kindly make what arrangements must be made according to the scriptures so that my skinny body, emaciated through unsatisfied passion, may be rendered fit for you. Also, my Lord, please think of a suitable house for this purpose. Purport. The Vedic literatures are not only full of spiritual instruction, but also uh, instructive in how to prosecute material existence very nicely with the ultimate aim of spiritual perfection. Therefore, Devahuti asked her husband how to prepare herself for sex life according to the Vedic instructions. Sex life is especially meant for having good children. The circumstances for creating good children are mentioned in Kama, uh, are mentioned in Kama Shastra, the scripture in which suitable arrangements are prescribed for factually glorious sex life. Everything needed is mentioned in the scriptures, what sort of house and decorations there should be, what sort of dress the wife should have, how she should be decorated with ointments, scents, and other attractive features, etc. With these requisites fulfilled, the husband will be attracted by her beauty and a favorable mental situation will be created. The mental situation at the time of sex life may then be transferred into the womb of the wife and good children can come out of that pregnancy. Here is a special reference to Devahuti's bodily features. Because she had become skinny, she feared that her body might have no attraction for cardamom. She wanted to be instructed how to improve her bodily condition in order to attract her husband. Sexual intercourse in which the husband is attracted to the wife is sure to produce a male child, but sexual intercourse based on attraction of the wife for the husband may produce a girl. That is mentioned in the Ayurveda. When the passion of the woman is greater, there is a chance of a girl's being born. When the passion of the man is greater, then there is a possibility of a son. Devahuti wanted the passion of her husband to be increased by the arrangement mentioned in the Kama Shastra. She wanted him to instruct her in that way, and she also requested that he arrange for a suitable house because the hermitage in which Kardamamuni was living was very simple and completely in the mode of goodness, and there was, uh, and there was less possibility of passions being aroused in his heart. Text 12. Maitreya Uvacha Priyaya Priyam Anivicham Kardhamo Yogam Astita Vimanam Kama Gamchatas Parhyeva Virachi Karat. Maitreya continued. O Vidura, seeking to please his beloved wife. The sage Kardama exercised his yogic power and instantly produced an aerial mansion that could travel at his will. Purport. 
Here the words yogam astita are significant. The sage karma was completely perfect in yoga. As a result of real yoga practice, there are eight kinds of perfection. The yogi can become smaller than the small, greater than the greatest, or lighter than the lightest. He can achieve anything he likes. He can create even a planet. He can establish influence over anyone, etc. In this way, yogic perfection is achieved, and after this one can achieve the perfection of spiritual life. Thus, it was not very wonderful for Karma Muni to create a mansion in the air according to his own desire, to fulfill the desire of his beloved wife. He had once created the palace, which is described in the following verses. 13. Sarva Kama Dugam Divyam, Sarva Ratna Samhanvitam, Sarva Jiupa. Chayo darkam, manistam bar upaskritam. It was a wonderful structure bedecked with all sorts of jewels, adorned with pillars of precious stones, and capable of yielding whatever one desired. It was equipped with every form of furniture and wealth, which tended to increase in the course of time. Purport. The castle created in the sky by Karma Muni may be called a castle in the air, but by his mystic power of yoga, Karma Muni actually constructed a huge castle in the air. To our feeble imagination, a castle in the sky is an impossibility. But if we scrutinizingly consider the matter, we can understand that it is not impossible at all. If the Supreme Personality of Godhead can create so many planets carrying millions of castles in the air, if the Supreme Personality of Godhead can create so many planets, then carrying millions of castles in the air, a perfect yogi like Karma Muni can easily construct one castle in the air. The castle is described as Sarva Kama Dugam, yielding whatever one desired. It was full of jewels. Even the pillars were made of pearls and valuable stones. These valuable jewels and stones were not subject to deterioration, but were everlastingly and increasingly opulent. We sometimes hear of castles thus bedecked on the surface of this earth also. The castles constructed by uh, Lord Krishna for his 16,108 wives were so bedecked with jewels that there is no need of lamplight during the night. Texts 14 through 15. Divyo pakara no petam, sarva kala shukavaham, pati kabib patakabir, vichitra bir alankritam, dragbir vichitra malya bir, manu jusinjat sad angridi, dukula kshoma kauseyar. The castle was fully equipped with all necessary paraphernalia, and it was pleasing in all seasons. It was decorated all around with flags, festoons, and artistics, a work of variegated colors. It was further embellished with wreaths of charming flowers that attracted sweetly humming bees with tapestries of linen, silk, and various other fabrics. Okay, and that's Anza reading for today. We'll continue from text 16 on Monday. Jai and Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru De, Srila Achari De, Srila Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Agur to the assembled devotees, Agur to the worldwide Great. devotees, Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Navadvit Dham Ki Jai, Nishanga Poli Dham Ki Jai, Maya Pur Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Valade Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai. Ganga Mai, Abona Mai Ki Jai, Vrindavan Dam Ki Jai, Giri Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dam Ki Jai, Sham Kund Radhikun Ki Jai, 
Right. Osi Devi, Bhakti Devi, Vrinda Devi Kijai. Right. Sainam Sankirtan Yagi Kijai. Right. Scientific Sankirtan Yagi Kijai. Right. Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute Kijai. Sri Chaitanya right. Saraswat Institute Kijai. Sri Chaitanya right. Saraswat Mat Kijai. Right. Nikai Gaur Primanandi Hari 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 Bhavan Jashimad Bhakti Vatam Kijai. Jashimati right. Umadevi Dasi Kijai. Hari Bhavan. Right. Sri Pal Krishna Kesha Prabhuji Kijai. Thank you.